Sandawana. Uh, the football season is back, and that can only mean one thing. The Yellow Corner bringing you previews of your favorite football club, Mamelo Sundowns. Raps, how are you? Uh, give me that, uh, Zoena. No, man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy that football is back after a, a, a couple of months, man, without football. You know, I, yeah, no, I don't know how, how people who, who don't love football uh, uh, survive, you know, what they do, get the weekends and so forth. But before we go any further, uh, this episode is sponsored by the Delicious Factory Cakes. Uh, yeah, they make the best cakes, man. The best scones and the best biscuits uh, you can ever find around, man. They are based in Pretoria. And if you want uh, uh, to order, check them out on Twitter. Their handle is at daily uh, underscore factory or uh, uh, go through to uh, at kinky underscore. Yeah, you, I promise you, you won't regret it, man. You can uh, uh, order before. If you're outside of uh, Pretoria, you can order. And then make sure that uh, you get them when you attend game inter sundowns. No excuses. Uh, the, 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 the stadiums, you boot, you know. So yeah, man. Yeah, uh, check them out on 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 on, on Twitter. Del- at delicious uh, underscore factory. Yeah, Raps, excited about the new season. Yeah, no, I'm de- definitely excited. Uh, mostly uh, to watch my favorite team and. I'm looking forward to the season, and I, I hope it is going to be an interesting season. What do you mean by an interesting season? I mean, it's not going to be a walkover for us to win the league. I'm expecting some competition from uh, other 15 teams. I like it highly. Yes, as much as I want competition, but I like it highly. Easy, you know. I hate watching football get to rip your local as well, you know. But yeah, man, uh, hopefully, hopefully, it is a, a season to remember, man. More so, we will be back at the stadiums, and hopefully, uh, we, we were complaining for the last two or three years, uh, our uh, the stadium would be so, so we don't have an excuse, our rescue at the stadium, you know, it's all, uh, like all of us to support our uh, favorite uh, teams. So, yeah, man, I can't wait to get loft us. Uh, 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 next week Wednesday, you know, but yeah, uh, we bring you the preview uh, of our match uh, of round one uh, against uh, Cape Town City. We traveling down to yeah uh, Cape Town facing a team that always gives us a hard time. You know, they, 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 we don't. Yeah, I mean, games are all Cape Town City. They are never a uh, easy one. Um, perhaps it's the first game of the uh, season. Uh, a tough fixture. Uh, for both teams, then? Yeah, no, a, a tough fixture for, for both teams. And, and these are uh, teams that uh, finished uh, second and Mamoli Sandals finished first. So I think it's going to be a, a tough fixture for both teams. But uh, what what's uh, good about this fixture is that uh, positive football it is guaranteed. I think we're going to see a good fo- football from both sides because if you can check if you can check the approaches of these two teams they are almost similar and they play to win games so as i'm saying i think it is going to be a good game for the uh, spectators as well yeah i know to be honest i couldn't have picked a better uh, a season open i mean and uh, two 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 very good sides two sides that uh, play football the way it should be played, you know, and I'm sure it will be, yes, it will be the first game of the season, uh, first official game of the season, so it won't be like, a, 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 maybe it will be, but I doubt it will be a, a classic match for Abo because uh, uh, both teams are still uh, trying to, 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 to find their feet, Abo. so yeah, I think it will be a, a, an interesting game. I uh, I do not expect the best of football, but I expect a, a good game. Like I don't I don't expect a spectacle, but I expect a good game. You know, uh, yeah. Hey, Rubs, we we finished first. They finished second. Um, the, the 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 points gap between us and them was sixteen points. Do you think uh, that gap is a true reflection of how far apart uh, uh, both teams are from each other? Oh, I, I I think it, it is uh, because of you look at the, the the squad that we have and the squad that they have. 
already Sandals have have a a, 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 a a good squad that is a, a good player. So I think uh, the lock standing start of last season, I think they reflect the gap between those two teams. But f- football wise, uh, and based on the performance, you can see that the gap is not that huge because of Captain City, the team that always gives us a hard time. Like last season, uh, we didn't win a single game against Cape Town City within 90 minutes. I think the game that we won, it was on the M10-8 and it went to the penalty. So I think in terms of performance and giving us a challenge, the gap is not huge at all. I think on the day, there are uh, one team that can match us, but uh, the league being a marathon and us having the the, the, the quality and the depth uh, that's where we beat them. I mean, they have a, a good coach in, in, in Eric. We have three a, a good coaches. We have also, yeah, man. Uh, there, there are a few factors that, that that come into play that I think make it make it uh, 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 look like it's a huge game. We have. I mean, uh, 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 you spoke about the, the player star one. Uh, I, I'm quite surprised, though. I think I read somewhere, heard, heard Tinkler say they've reduced... Uh, uh, the 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 number of players in their squad got two. I can't remember. It's is it twenty six from twenty six to twenty four or from twenty eight to twenty six. Are you surprised by that? And because you need you need numbers in 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 this league. Yes, you don't need uh, 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 crazy numbers, but you need numbers. Uh, 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 you know. And uh, what have, uh, also what have you made of their new signings? They didn't sign uh, 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 big name players, and I expected them to go to the market and sign a, a good and experienced players. And, and also, considering that they lost a uh, uh, Sabres Ralani uh, last season, and also they lost a uh, Fagri like he. So I, I thought they were going to try and, and replace them. But you look at the players that they got, I mean, they sent uh, Mark Van Heerden back. And they sent a uh, Jordan Bender from uh, America, a, a, a youngster. So I think the signings, I am not quite sure. Uh, 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 are these signings that are going to take them to a, a higher a position that is going to improve the team or not? So I think uh, they should have sent almost like Amazon, as much as Amazon, but if you can look at those signings, those are quality players. So that was that is what I expected from Cape Town City. And also uh, they released uh, uh, Tashrik Morris and also Shane Roberts. And I'm asking myself, how about really Tashrik Morris the mm-hmm. striker as much as he's not good. True. You know I'm sure you know I'm sure Fakri in the January transfer window. One would have thought or they would go looking for a focal focal point in attack, you know. Uh, and the heaven, which which has surprised me because you need goals, man. As much as you can keep, I mean, they kept the most clean sheets last season, but you, you, you for you to win games, you need goals. So I'm asking myself, where are the goals going to come from uh, 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 for, 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 for Cape Town City, you know what? Yeah, perhaps. Uh, why is it so hard for us to beat this team? Uh, I mean, uh, some team, a certain team we beat with is uh, five times in a calendar year, but Cape Town City, it's it's, it's always difficult for us to beat them. Why, why, why do you think, uh, is uh, what do you think is the reason for that? I mean, I think one of the reasons is that uh, they are one team that play uh, they they stick to 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 their what's the word to their principles uh, 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 when they face sundowns you know they they are fearless when they face sundowns you know they they they, they, they don't change their approach uh, uh, when they face uh, 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 sundowns and I think because of the quality of players that they have go for them going pound for pound with uh, sundowns. They, they know we will create, yes, sundowns will create as well, but we will also create and uh, when you get a chance, maybe a, a, a take advantage 
of, of uh, 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 situations, you know. Unlike other teams that go into games with sundowns, uh, their first and so is to defend, you know, uh, 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 before they attack. Uh, whereas Cape Town City, no, no. It's because Sundowns is a very offensive team, if we we, we, we attack, we, uh, obviously when the uh, Sundowns attack us, they leave gaps behind so we can exploit those uh, uh, gaps uh, that they leave behind. When? I think uh, the crucial one is being uh, fearless and uh, sticking and trusting their philosophy against Mamel Sundowns and mostly uh, playing a positive football. I think uh, they don't compromise uh, uh, how they play our general Sundowns. They stick to their philosophy and I believe that has worked for, for, for them uh, playing against Mamel Sundowns and also they they uh, they play according to their strength. But also, they don't try to change the team in order uh, 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 to 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 not lose the game. I think they play according to their strength, and they they know where they can expose Mamelodi Sundowns, and they know uh, what to do to maintain and to to keep Mamelodi Sundowns quiet. Mm, true. True, man. Um, let's get into uh, how uh, we think they will play, uh, our expectations uh, uh, in this game when it comes to Cape Town City. I will go first. I think uh, they, they they use uh, Fasika, Le, 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 Phyllis, Tara. Yes. Yeah, as they are uh, uh, centre-backs. Tara is right-footed, but he plays on the left. Bravo. And, excuse me, normally they build up uh, Hugo uh, uh, normally passes to, to to Tara, and Tara either plays a long ball or he plays it into middle field. So, and he 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 can find his man has a long ball. It's not like he just hoofs it. Uh, uh, so uh, they, I expect them to build up like that. They don't build up like us, whereby the two centre backs split and then the the, the, the six. Yeah, and I am a collector ball in, in most cases. It, they normally uh, Hugo plays it to Tara Tara, either plays it to uh, uh, Mukeke or to 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 Mashek on the left or finds a uh, 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 someone up front. So I expect them to continue uh, 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 with that. And then they overload their right hand side uh, 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 with Tamir's right right back and. Uh, uh, Martins as well on the uh, side, ne? and then in, in most cases they will have maybe one of one of the eights, maybe Tabo, ne? in the in the builder play. Mto starts from higher, uh, kima Mkise, ne? he may start more center lining, ne? and then Martins would uh, come in inside Wabo uh, uh, in vet, and then uh, kima Tabo would sometimes take up spaces are mighty anymore, so they they overload that side, hence. The last season, you saw them uh, getting most of uh, Tabo. Kids are getting most assists. Come on, to come on, right there. So they 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 overload that side. They do the opposite on 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 the left, whereby they give a uh, uh, Mashiko all the room to bomb forward. Bravo, bomb, 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 bomb. Bravo. So uh, I expect them to 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 continue like that, and I expect them if they don't hoof it. If Tara doesn't uh, play long, ne? Um, Mukeke, he'll play to Mukeke. Mukeke will find Bibo, ne? and Bibo is the one who, 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 who will need it and make them uh, uh, play. You know, I mean, I, one can uh, never forget what the impact that he had in the MTN 8 final when he came in. You know, he changed the game, uh, uh, Bibo. They started really playing. You know, they, 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 they took, took charge of that game. Remember, I even said to you, uh, I can't remember what that was. Yeah, it was uh, during uh, uh, in the 90 minutes. I said we need to take this game to extra time and regroup and and find a plan, you know, because uh, 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 they had us uh, against the ropes for a while. So uh, I think I think they they, they will try and get uh, people as involved as, uh, as possible, you know, for uh, him to meet a uh, playable or now. And then you have Danzani, uh, who's I can't think of a player in the PSL who makes. The, those brilliant uh, leg runs into the box, you know. Uh, he's similar to, he does it in a similar way to what Frank Lampard used to do in his playing days. You know? I'm not saying Ramdanzani is 
uh, Frank Lampard because someone is uh, saying that that is Frank Lampard, but no, he those uh, late runs into the box some dance are normal. Uh, and then because they don't have a striker and out and out a uh, 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 number nine, I think they will play because I think in the last game that we played, they played guy Frank Bray, uh, yeah, Gonzalez on the left with a uh, Mayo. And, uh, and 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 Martin on the right. So I think they might try that, you know. And uh, Gonzalez and Tole, Le, Le, Le Mayo will uh, 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 alternate positions. And that might give us an issue because it's difficult to 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 mark a uh, front where you don't know who 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 are you really. Uh, marking in 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 that a uh, a uh, uh, front three as a centre back, bravo. When? Look, I think uh, first of all we need to acknowledge that they have a, a, a good team, they have a good squad, uh, they have a good goalkeeper, and also uh, they have a good defence. You look at uh, Fasika and Phillies; they are, they are good defenders who know to build up from the back, and also who have the the aerial strength. To defend those set pieces, I think that is why it is tough to 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 score or get a goal from set piece when you are playing against uh, Cape Town City. And also, they have uh, Mukeke. We know the role of Mukeke is to receive the ball from the uh, two defenders and try to find uh, offensive players. And what would, what I would like to see happening from Manu Sandals is to ensure that once Mukeke has the ball. We force him to play the ball, the ball back, or we force him to play the ball wide. Because of once he turns and he finds players like uh, 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 Bibo Magola and also a player like uh, Nodad or Omdanza, and I think it becomes a problem. So we want to stop that from happening. You, you put pressure on Keke to pass the ball back, and also Nodad. I think uh, Nodad. I think we'll start. In this game because of the energy that and the speed that he brings in the middle field, the, the distance that he covers uh, uh, in the pitch, I think it is very crucial. You don't want only players who are comfortable on the ball, but you also want players who offer you something when uh, uh, you, you are off position, you are marching. So I think you know that uh, 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 might be the solution. And also up front, we said they don't have a vocal point. Uh, they have Mario Gonzalez and Greg Martins. That simply means there's going to be mobility up front. There's going to be interchange of position. Uh, you might see Mario on the left uh, or central. So that will be very difficult to drag those kind of players because of it is difficult to man mark a, 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 a front ray. There's a lot of mobility because of they are just going uh, around and interchanging uh, uh, the positions. Tabaya Tabo, not that that is very interesting. Uh, I don't know how the situation is now, but yeah, he was linked with us uh, uh, early in the, the transfer window. And I am not sure if the situation has changed, but from what I had, uh, what happened last season, um, yeah, uh, it's... Yeah, yeah, there's an incident that happened after a game, I think, here in Gauke at the hotel. And yeah, I don't think maybe maybe it's changed, but from what I heard, uh Tabo Hataba. Let's move on to sundowns. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to sundowns, man. Um what how do you think we can beat uh, Cape Town City? I think uh, first of all, we need to, to match uh, their speed and their energy. I think the, it is a team that plays with intensity. And for us to to, to, to to ensure that we don't concede or we don't give them those uh, dangerous positions, I think we need to match their energy. And also, uh, Mugeke uh, is their DLP. And what I would like, what I would like what I would like from this game is our players pressing and also overlook, overloading the position around Mugeke because of his always isolated in that position. And you mentioned that their fullbacks, they always overlap. 
And for now, Gatavala, if we can have a player who is going to cheat an eye on that space that their fullback uh, uh, leave, it can be on the side of uh, Mashiro or on the side of Mukeke or Refela. Blareto cheat them. In this chibile, that space, yeah, Mukeke, yeah, 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 Mkize or yeah, Mashiro, and we capitalize from that space. Yeah, man, I, I agree with you. I agree with you also about uh, uh, setting traps on 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 uh, Mugeke. Uh, I'd also like us to set traps on uh, uh, Phyllis's side, you know, uh, because he's right-footed but playing on the left, you know. And if you set traps and force him to use his, his weaker foot, you 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 might be lucky, like we were in the MCN eight uh, uh, final, uh, because the ball. Uh, he couldn't give it uh, Phyllis couldn't give it height and distance uh, when he tried to clear it hence Kutu was able to block it and, 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 and it led to a goal I would like us to overload the side yeah, 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 our right hand side uh, because Gonzalez won't help him as much in terms of defence Defending, Kamole Martins will help uh, uh, um, Kize, you know, uh, 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 with defending. So I'd like us to set traps, uh, Kamole. Have, have, I'm going for, you know, I want Gaston to play this season, but in this game, I've gone for a uh, 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 Tapero to start this game and have him uh, uh, capitalize that uh, uh, gap, cut that gap that uh, Kima. Mashiro will leave because Tapelo has pace and all. So I'd have Tapelo more. The thing is, I know they will high pre- they, 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 they press us high. Né? Maybe, maybe, because you need to, football is about outsmarting your opponent né, to win the game. Wabo. Maybe, just maybe we need to, once in a while, have a high presser, go long, maybe go long, and as we go along, look for Shalulile and hope for Shalulile is able to, uh, uh, maybe he drops Hanyan towards middle field. And as we go along, he f- he's able to flick on ball off to the side where you have maybe Tapel on the right who's able to use the room more ball. Because uh, uh, if they high press us, that means uh, 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 in most cases we'll have a numerical superiority uh, uh, up, up top more. Level. So maybe. Not not always go long, but once in a while play a long ball or when bypass a uh, press or whatever. Do not let them uh, uh, build rhythm and get into their groove because once they do that, yeah, they, they, they we so can take eight into, uh, once that team starts playing, man, you are you are in trouble. Yeah. Rest defense yeah, last season was not so good. Yes, they, they considered they kept the most clean sheets in Cuba when I kept the most clean sheets a uh, uh, human. But the rest defense I was not so good last season where you found uh, uh, the two center backs always facing them to uh, uh, the, the, their goals and Mukeke uh, being reactive about to this situation or about not, 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 not being uh, proactive, not reading or uh, sensing danger in most uh, cases. And then I would like to have someone like River Keeping an eye on Kima um, M Danzan. Danzan is late runs. Make sure uh, uh, when he gets into uh, the, uh, the edge of the box, he's there to defend him. Uh, uh, and yeah, our press has to be uh, well coordinated because if they bypass pressure on any traps that we set on, maybe Phyllis in into le 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 Mugeke, uh, they, 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 they will punish us because one, they have pace uh, in that team, right? so they might punish us. Uh, your starting lineup, or should I go first? Uh, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, I'll have uh, Riyad, that's my number one. Uh, I'll start uh, Mudau. Uh, and center backs, I'll have Grant. And uh, uh, I'll start Mandela. If Grant, then left back I'll have uh, my 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 post my post I'll have my post I'll go left back in. then uh, I'll play a, a, a three man middle field, which is AJ, a blesser and I'll start Debsa in this game. Then up front I'll have Tabelo, 
Shalili le and Galal. Do you know there's a guy who who's celebrating his birthday on Wednesday who just renewed a uh, uh, contract with Sundowns? He's uh, one of the longest serving players. He's one of the greatest players to ever uh, don the, the 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 yellow jersey at Sundowns. He was jersey number eighteen. You know him. <laughs> hey, I'm saying what it's time. Okay. Yeah, our teams are a bit similar. I would start Riyad and then my back four would be uh, Mudau, uh, Grant, uh, De Rook, and then uh, Maposa left back. I'll have a middle field three. I am going to get attacked for this. Uh, yeah, but my favorite player is back, so I'm not dropping my favorite player. I'd have a River and then uh, a premier middle field as well. I'd have a River. And then blesser, uh, like I said last season, blesser. Now if Sundowns is not blesser, I. And then I would have a a a tapes up as well as my two eight. My front three would be more uh, Morena, Shalulile, and then uh, Zwane. A uh, prediction? Uh, I think it's going to be a, a tight game. Uh, one one. One one. Who scoring? Yeah. Shalila will score, and uh, I think Mayu will score from Kington City. I think 2-2. Two, two. I think uh, it won't be the best of... Okay, let me stop saying this won't be the best of me. It will be 2-2, two, two, I think. I think, yeah, uh, Shalila will score as well as Morena for me. Uh, Rabs, before we close it, the greatest captain this team has ever seen has retired. Uh, uh, baby boy, uh, uh, Tupac Shaku, uh, from Poggy Ghana, one of the most amazing players and human beings you'll ever come across. You have them, you have him in the same category as someone like uh, the legendary surprise Moriri. Your words, uh, 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 by K -K -K. I think uh, he served the team very well. Uh, he, his leadership skills, I think, helped the team to achieve what we achieved uh, previously, the leagues, the the domestic uh, clubs, and also the big one, which is uh, KF Champions League. I think uh, we should continue uh, celebrating from Poké Ghana because of what he has done for the team. I think it, it is very, very uh, 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 good. And also, uh, we, we will always remember his performances, Gogo Orlando, his goals that he scored. You oh, oh, oh. from Poké Ghana. Yeah, the goals, the goals he scored Orlando. So uh, I'm wishing him a, a happy retirement and hopefully hopefully we are, we are still going to see him around uh, football, maybe as a coach or maybe as an analyst or something because of, I believe he still has something to offer uh, in the game. Yeah, no, thank you very much for a film for me. Uh, you are a legend at this club. Uh, you are a PSL legend. Man. Wish you all the best and in your future endeavors and enjoy your 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 retirement. Man, we'll forever be grateful uh, for what you did for us. And yeah, I mean it's 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 it, it, it jersey number eight. So everyone who has a who has jersey number eight, yeah. Uh, perhaps we are out of time, man. Uh, guys, please don't forget to subscribe uh, and yeah, continue uh, commenting and liking and drop your uh, preferred lineups for this game uh, on the comments and yeah. Check out uh, uh, the delicious factory cakes on, on Twitter. It's at Daily Factory. Thank you, Masandawana. See you next week for the preview of the game here, TS Galaxy. Cheers, Masandawana. Shab shab, British. Hola.